All right, so uh, hi there. Uh, I'm gonna do another again. I guess it's it is turning out to be every every week I'm doing these. Um, I think I missed one week, and that's just because, like I said, it wasn't that interesting. Uh, but I actually kind of wanted to show this week a little bit because uh, it was some pretty funny stuff. Um, well, not not the the funniest stuff, but I, I kind of liked uh, some of the way that some of the, these defenses turned out. Um, unfortunately, uh, I don't have. Um, let's go here. I don't have my plus eight Minerva on this team, and it's her bonus season, so <laughs> that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, aside from that, nothing, nothing too bad. Um, like I said, this team is kind of the control team. Um, now that my other team is actually turning out uh, a lot better and turning out to be, you know, about as good as I, as I, as I like it to be, um, I am probably going to end up like retiring this one. So we're not going to see too many episodes with this defense, uh, anymore. Um, let's see if I can switch over to the other one real quick. It's a cav line, poorly built cav line, mind you. Uh, so this is the current one. Uh, this doesn't even have all the upgrades. So it doesn't have Camilla, which I want to switch over to the um, Fortress Res Defense, which I, I will, I think, next season. Um, only a plus six Minerva. She's at plus eight right now, so I just need two more and we're golden. Uh, of course, she has this and, you know, all this other stuff. But yeah, so, like, this one's a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, Duma is still basically a liability. I need to figure out what to do about him, but... Um, yeah, I mean that's just what it, it is. What it is, really. Uh, so yeah, so let's go take a look. No, it's not here. It's defense results. Let's take a look at some of these defenses. Uh, some I thought were kind of funny, especially like it's always funny to watch this one succeed at all, considering how poorly designed it is. Uh, it's just sort of like I just like bunched a bunch of stuff together and was like, well, that's my defense. Um, let's see how we we did here. Uh, so yeah, this is the Dimitri one, plus one. Uh, he's pretty threatening. I think he's a bonus ally too, so that's pretty. Uh, it's pretty. He's pretty strong. It's, it's, there's a lot going on here. Uh, and then Felicia's here, funnily enough, um, as a uh, strictly um, mage tank, which I think is kind of interesting too. Uh, Forty-six res was plus ten. Is it max flowers? Can we see? No, not max flowers, but. Uh, Still pretty interesting nonetheless. Yeah, let's see um, where this goes. So it's pretty cool. I'm actually, I get to see um, Felicia be used against me, uh, which is, you know, one of the reasons I also wanted to see, just to see how other people use her and what's going on with her. Uh, also, the Minerva, this is also kind of good to see. Since Minerva is a bonus ally, some people might end up using her uh, on offense, so I get to see other people's builds and see how they're, how they're doing. And one of the things that kind of makes me sad about uh, Minerva, to a large degree, is that she's kind of... She just there's not a whole lot of uh, sway or variation in her building options. Like she just like, what axe are you gonna give her? Well, I mean, what are you gonna give her better than um, the dragoon axe? Which you know ultimately might be like a huge fan maybe, but that requires visible buffs as well as like, was the other axe that we got uh, dex wobber? But then you know if you're in a flyer ball, you can't use that. So basically, she's kind of stuck with this axe. Her her a slot passive is kind of stuck being this because it's like it's just out shield but infinitely better. Uh, maybe you could put IO Shield here and then a uh, distant counter here, and then, you know, there you go. But then, you know, again, then you're kind of wasting her uh, A slot passive. And, and at that situation, just go with um, with Gergarant, uh, go with um, Ashnard, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, it's kind of sad to see that, like, you know, she, there's not a whole lot of build variety, but, you know, she's, she's fun to see what other people are doing anyway. Okay, so this Felicia, I wonder what this Felicia is going to do. The music starting and stopping over and over again, it's kind of interesting. How's our, how's our defense is doing? So one, plus one and plus one, okay, so we're even. Okay, so she did 18 damage to him. I, will protect my people. I don't know if I would go for... For noontime, personally, let's see. Doesn't he have like a minus one? No, it just charges. Okay. Yeah, I think like a a times pulse here, maybe. And like, I mean, obviously that's a very expensive build, but like, I think maybe like a time pulse here and uh, an aether here would be pretty good for him. But you know, like I said, that's very expensive, so see why they wouldn't. Of 
course, Micaiah gets kind of just shot out by anything. Let's, let's see if, how my Boki deals with Minerva. So, despite the fact that Minerva is infinitely um, defense tanky, she actually uh, did pretty decent there. What does his Minerva have? Bonfire or something? Glimmer, okay, very interesting. Oh, I have to take off animations, that's why it's taking so long. Okay. okay so she killed him. I think this is, this is what I liked right here, is that finally my... Uh, this is like the first time we ever see Ka uh, Pala actually just do anything to anyone, and she just like demolished him. Um... I accidentally clicked right there, so we kind of skipped over it. But yeah, she like, for once, <laughs> she actually did something, so that's pretty cool. Um, of course, um, they ended up losing uh, after they lost like their main unit and the dancer. Um, but yeah, let's go take a look at what's going on here with these other ones. So, usually when we end up losing, as you can see here, I don't actually rematch a whole lot of people because I don't really find it too valuable. Uh, rematches, a lot of times you want to rematch because, you know... You fought that guy, and depending on how your defense did, and you can see what kind of units they had on there, you can kind of see, oh, uh, maybe this person is, uh, I can attack them, and you know, it'll be an easier fight. But I really just like, I'd rather be matched up with, with I'd rather be paired up than paired down is, is, the, is the thing when it comes to like looking for matches in, in, Aether, in Aether Raids. Um, so this looks like a pretty interesting team. They've got a plus six Murr. Uh, so if, unfortunately, these two are, are not anything. Uh, this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, you would put Tamari on this. I, I'm actually starting to think about uh, running Tamari on my air as well um, during this season because uh, that way you can have the Aversa debuffs as well as the Tamari, the Tamari Dagger debuffs and you can just kind of stack uh, air's res instead of worrying about other other stats of hers. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it depends really, ultimately. Uh, so this Clarice is pretty interesting. I mean, the fact that someone's running Clarice at all, I guess, is pretty interesting. Um, I don't know who her, her bonus ally or whatever, her partner ally. Oh, this is actually not just a regular Cerise. This is a summoner-supported Cerise, which not is not as uh, which is not as um, valuable as it was back then. Like, when you summoner-supported one, it was like, oh, man, summoner-supported Cerise or Clarice or whatever. But, like, now you can have three, so it's not that big a deal. And you can switch back and forth between the three of them, even if you don't have the um, the pass, which I think is awesome. That was like the best change for me. It's like I don't have to buy the pass, but I can just like you know, whenever I need them, I can just swap between uh, who my uh, my favorite units are without having to like, because you know, I only have one unit for Astra, one unit for for Light, and then one unit for Arena, and those are the three I cycle between, and they never need to be active at the same time. So that's pretty cool, and I don't have to go farm up their like you know XP again. Um, but yeah, so this Clarice is kind of interesting. Let's see what uh, if I lose because of the Clarice, but it's looking more like I'm probably just going to lose to Murr. Uh, of course, so Murr destroys uh, my Micaiah there. Uh, and that's, there you go, that's another, that's an interesting point to make of like, if that was um, Summer Byleth, I mean, maybe we could have won that, but yeah, probably not. I mean, this Murr is very tanky. Um... Yeah, so she's got a lot going on, and then her new refine is pretty good, I hear. So yeah, we basically lost this uh, to Murr. Wow, Murr even destroyed my uh, red, uh, my red Sothis there. So I guess Clarice is just here to show off. She's just here to show that he has, he does in fact have a uh, a Clarice plus ten. Uh, I really like. I have a Clarice, a pl uh, just a, a five star. I five starred a Clarice because um, I liked her refine so much. Um, my Clarice is more like not this, not this heavily invested into. Wow, that's a lot of investment. It's not this heavily invested into uh, like killing herself. Like not that heavily invested into using her to kill. Uh, it's more like she's just there to like poke people. Uh, so it's got like the savage, savage, and then. Um, poison strike and then whatever damage she gets out of this which is kind of overkill so the poison strike could probably do without but i mean there's really nothing else i have for that i can give her right now uh, so this one about to be expected uh basically just lost a bike but you know a flying dragon bike um that doesn't have the uh what's it called the percentage damage reduction 
but it's a similar concept. Uh, let's go here. So Leafs, so Leafs, uh, what's his name? This guy, is it Life? I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Life's can be kind of irritating, especially when they're bonus units. I don't know if he's a bonus unit now, but like, yeah. They can be, they can be, they can be tough. Um, they're not, they're nothing to sneeze at. So I think Ophelia here, at least to just Ophelia, is probably just gonna bomb everybody uh, as soon as they start moving out of position. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so she bombs her. And then what? Okay, so she gets dance and bombs another one. Okay, so there we go. Now it's my turn, I guess. Oh no, he still has he still has time to go. So now it's my turn, I guess. Hopefully my pala just destroys uh life over there. So she's dead. <laughs> she's dead and then I think oh Pala's still not moving. But does Pala not have Oh, she doesn't have the flyer formation here. See, there you go. That would have been a lot better. Damn. So I guess I get to take out the Ishtar because she's, yeah, she's over there. I just hit her once and she dies. So it could have gone better, um, but it went decently well. Unfortunately, the... Um, Lift lost control got us, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so basically, uh, that leaf did not die, or that life did not die, because I didn't have a flyer formation on my um, pal at the time. So there you go. Um, another uh, strike, another one for the uh, poorly designed team, the mishmash of whatever I put together there. Um, this is interesting. The Olivier here, two drive attacks. It's pretty interesting. See how this goes out. I think maybe, yeah, it's just going to be her tanking everything. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to be careful when you're where you're putting your dance your uh, your dancers because they tend to uh, things like that tend to happen. Unfortunately, Paula is kind of out of commission. She's not going to be able to come over here and do anything about this because uh, she didn't have flyer formation, and the AI is kind of stupid. So. It is what it is. Wow, that is one tanky uh, Sylvia or Olivia there. 37 plus 8 or 6. Yeah, this, this cudgel thing is pretty good. Um, and then I also got like insanely debuffed. Wow, 48. Yeah, she doesn't have the bonuses from being like... Uh, a preferred unit or whatever, uh, uh, so much supported unit, yeah. And she's also missing the plus five, so obviously Boki not very good on on defense, um, but it's fine. Um. And I don't think we need to see much more of this one. I've been contemplating. Uh, whether or not I want to save like a thousand orbs or something like that, you know, several thousand orbs maybe um, for next year and just wait till Byleth comes back or just hold on to them until something new comes out. Because um, really, I, I feel like, I mean, it won't, my, my defense won't be perfect once Byleth, once I get uh, Byleth, but um, I still just like, you know, I'd really like to get a plus 10 Byleth just because for one, it's Byleth and, you know, Ray is there too and. You know, obvious reasons, but, you know, it, she can be very competitively viable, I think, to some degree. Byleth with a with a wind sweep uh, is no joke, though, unfortunately, it's not, like, it is really, you're really going to have to take the plus 10 and the plus 10 or plus 5 flowers to her if you want her to be able to wind sweep a uh, bike is the biggest problem there, so... Like she's gonna need every like every ounce of stat she can get to wind sweep, um, to basically wind sweep double a uh, a bike, because uh, normally you probably want uh, something like the Hardy bearing on her, 
so that she can like mess up bikes like sword abil uh, axe ability. Oh, nice. She can mess up bikes axe ability. Uh, his damage reduction, because if 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 he needs to be hit twice in a row for them to both work, and if they don't, that's how you kill him. Is is you can hit him once he hits you back for not much damage, then you hit them him back, and it's not reduced anymore. This is a very fast uh, gun throw here, though. Mine's kind of slow just because she has like a massive uh, speed nerf or speed uh, bane. Okay, so they lost two units, and I think they didn't give up, so that's kind of interesting. Um, it's always interesting for, for me to see, like, people not give up this early in the season. Like, usually, like, if I would, I mean, if I would have lost, like, one or two units already, I would have just left, like, this early in the season. Um, but, you know, I guess a lot of, some people don't really mind it too much. And then, yeah, and then he left. Oh, okay. So I don't know why he didn't just leave immediately. Yeah, I forgot that was a two. Okay, so we got a few more. Uh, so we lo they lost two here. We went that way. So let's do this one. So let's take a look and see what we lost here. I like that Kagero there. Um, so of course uh, we got a Versa here, as always, very good. Kind of weird. She has Panic Ploy. I'm <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. Um, yeah, that's quite strange. I don't know what uh, what to make of that. This is a very fast Aversa. It feels very fast. What's going on here? Why is it so fast? Is my Aversa this fast? My first is, my Aversa is 44. Is she getting the bonuses from here? It's kind of weird. That's an interesting verse. I don't know what's going on there, but so Versa is always very strong. Um, basically, the reason you can't run uh, visible buffs on your teams, um, and even even at um, even if you're not running visible buffs, she can still be very threatening. Uh, the minus three to everything is is no joke. Uh, it's great, like it's great on it, like she's just really good, right? Because in all cases, you're either like it, bec it comes down to this. It's like they're either a minus three, it's a three or it's a minus three or more, right? So there's always a possible more, but no matter what, they're always going to be at a minus three. Unfortunately, uh, he, she got hit back on she died on the counter, which. Normally she can quad um, if she survives. Uh, but this life is obviously putting out massive numbers and he's excessively tanky. What is he, plus one? Yeah. Um, not to mention he's a bonus unit. So yeah. Um, could my newer, uh, could my newer, uh, what's her name? Could my newer Pala have taken him down? Eh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, and then of course we see what happens here. So let's get out of here, a Zion. Um, okay, so we're here now. So I beat one person here. Um, yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, someone's using Claude. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't like Claude as a like. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. Look at this little like. You see this right here? Look at this, this tiny little like. This little hairs right here. This little uh, like chin strap. I mean, look at him. He just looks like a massive douchebag. I mean, he looks like he's 20-something and he, like, dates 16-year-olds. Um, but anyway, my dislike for this person to one side, um, I'm interested to see if people start picking him up as a sort of, like, my bulky, where she, he, you just kind of replace him, replace the bulky with that, right? A CC Vantage tanky unit that just brawls with everybody because of, you know, how powerful this is. But yeah, so let's let's uh, let's see how this goes. Um, do I lose to him or do I lose to something else? I guess is the the question you gotta ask yourself here. Uh, yeah, so let's go see what happens here. Okay, so he's just gonna take the fight here.
Yep, so he's about as strong as, you know, you could really sort of imagine he'd be. Fortunately, my Makaya didn't do very much, despite having, obviously, the, uh... <laughs> obviously having the, uh... The effective damage over there. So it looks like that's probably the only kill we're going to get here. Yeah, and we can kind of see where this is going from here. Okay. That was fine. Um, let's go see where we lost here. We, we lost uh, a full... We took a full L here. Not just partial, but full. Ooh, someone else is trying Dimitri. Let's see what happens. Okay, so... Alright. So Mill is keeping my Dancer uh, under control over there. So this... This is a... What is this? A plus one or something? Plus one. So very interesting. He's a plus one. Within two spaces, he gets the bonus from this. Yep. Uh, could this team have done better if I had the other team versus him? You know, I had the... Um, what's her name? The Minerva, maybe, but uh, it's still a bit of a long shot, I think. Um, I, just having... The, the fact that I have three grass uh, threats is not really, like, that big a deal when they can all be, like, uh, controlled and isolated and whatnot. You just kind of take them out one at a time. Uh, let's see if uh, see what Camilla can do at a plus three here. Zero damage. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, and I, I guess that's it. Yeah, we kind of kind of see where this is going here. It basically, takes out everybody else from there. Um. So yeah, that wasn't too bad. Um, my other team might have been able to handle that. Fifty-fifty, I'd say. Um, is he? I don't know if he's actually a bonus unit next season. Okay, so this is a very interesting team. We won against these guys. Uh, you would think, seeing as we were, were further in the tiers, this is like the last person to attack me, so I was this is the highest I was ever going to be this whole season. Um, you'd think this one would have gotten better, but apparently they lost. So let's kind of figure out what's going on here, why they lost. Uh, so they wanted speed, so they got a, 50, a 47 speed. Sacrificing the HP... It's important to understand, like, sacrificing the HP isn't so bad because you always, you usually end up, like, out HP stacking most units without trying too hard anyway, right? So you can see here, like, you know, most of these people are all debuffed, and what, am I going to have one unit that, that's, like, competing with their HP? It's not that big a deal. Um, yeah, so this person valued, like, having the speed over, like, absolutely having the highest HP because, again, you don't always need it all the time. Um, so let's see, they've got the uh, plus 10 Aversa, obviously the plus 10 um, Marth, hopefully that investment uh, is paying off. Uh, the Fjorm, obviously for the same reason as the Mila, and this Sothis. So I won, even though I feel like the Sothis should have really taken it. Um, Sothis is a very strong unit. Uh, does she have Smite? Yeah, Versus always have Smite for some reason, it's very interesting. Okay, so let's see what happens here. I feel like Micaiah might hit her pretty hard. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Uh, so I think what happened here, like the, the, the main thing was she, um, he, he or she, this person, moved back the Sothis, even though I think they should have gone for that, considering the fact that the, I just got uh, Bolt Towered for a decent amount of damage. Um, on top of the fact that, like, oh man, I can't believe I lost that fight. That's pretty sad. Uh, what am I looking at here? On top of the fact that this Bolt Tower... Oh, actually, never mind. That's fine. Okay. So that was kind of dumb. I don't know what's up with that. And then that was even dumber. Um, so I guess maybe the fact that Sothis has Vantage, there was really no way to get around any of this. I, that, that was kind of interesting how this turned out. 
I feel like Sothis might have been low enough that you could have just used her to hit her and like tanked with Sothis Sothis's first hit and then maybe just hit her. I think I think she had yeah she has enough. I mean forty seven. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean that might have been just like what happened to me uh, this morning when I was playing just um, end up playing like an idiot. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. That was kind of an interesting one. I'm um, not sure what happened there. I don't know why I'd get paired up like that with someone like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for this week. Um, not too interesting again. There's not a whole lot to learn from this comp um, in terms of like, you know, how to, to fight against a flyer ball because it's not that good. Um, but there's still, still some funny stuff in there like to, I, wanted to, I wanted to share with. So there's that. Um, like I said, next time light season comes around or I guess uh, dark season for the defense, I'll probably have it switched up to be like the 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 the, the Minerva and all that stuff, everything maxed out. Uh, the current team, uh, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully, I can get. I don't know how, how far I'm how far off I am from the the next Minerva, Minerva merge, but that's really going to be the ultimate decider. Like if I'm very close, I'm just going to hold off until I get it. Uh, but if I'm still decently far, then I'll probably just hold off until I get the last two. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for today. Um, hopefully that was uh, somewhat informative, somewhat entertaining. Um, yeah, until next time.